Hi, I just got out of the shower, so that's why my hair is wet. Sorry about that. I wanted to do a light summer look, but also keep the the bronzy style that's going on for this summer. So in this tutorial, I'm using Urban Decay's Wallpaper Palette. I use Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin, Maybelline's Great Lash Clear Mascara. Um... Why can't I think of the name of these? Eyelash curlers, that's it. And um, Lash Blast in brownish brown, and I have waterproof. You don't have to use waterproof. I know a lot of people don't like waterproof. And I use white eyeliner and these three shadow brushes along with um, foundation. Just use whatever foundation you use for your face. On my lips, I just have my usual Sephora lip gloss with EOS lip balm. This is in Summer Fruit. So, I mean, you can do whatever you want for the lips. I couldn't grab lipstick quick enough, so this is what I have on. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. So, the first thing I'm going to do is take Great Lash Clear Mascara by Maybelline and I'm going to put that over my eyebrows just because mine kind of tend to stick up a little bit. Oh. Feels a little funny for a little while but then it dries. The next thing I'm going to do is take Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Sin. You can use any kind of primer potion you want, but the reason why I'm using it in Sin is because I'm not using um, an underbrow highlighter. And this gives you kind of like a highlight under your brow bone. So that's why I chose to use this one. Now we are going to go underneath the eye. Don't worry if you get it in here. We're going to cover that. But we are going to go under, so you want to get it at least a little bit in the corner and under. A lot of people wear this primer potion alone, so it's going to give you a little something. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take the standard shader brush. I don't know if that's going to focus. And we're going to bring it into the color Grind. We're only going to use those top three shades. So we're going to go into Grind, which is very, very shimmery. I have to say, this is a very shimmery look. And we're going to bring this into the inner corner, or the inner third, actually. As you can tell, it's pretty shimmery. Then we're going to go into the color Shotgun which is the one in the middle, right there. This one's also somewhat shimmery. Not as shimmery as Grind. Or, yeah, maybe slightly less shimmery than Grind. And we'll put that in the middle of the lid. Now we're going to switch brushes. We're going to use a blending brush. And we're going to go into the color Last Call, which is this color up here. And we're going to put this in the outer third. And then bring it up into your crease.
and just keep blending that in. Now I don't want it too dark for myself but you can keep building on it if you like but I want this to be kind of a lighter look. Now I'm going to take a pencil brush or a liner brush. I'm going to take that back into grind. And I'm just going to go right on the inner corner. Inner corner. <laughs> I don't know why I stress that. And right under on your lash line. Now there will be some fallout, but you can just brush that away when you're done. Then we're going to go into the color Last Call again. And we're going to put this on the outer corner along that outer lash line. Just connect them. I hope this is focusing. I'm sorry if it's not. I've been having some trouble with the camera lately. Then for the middle color, we're going to give it some color. I'm going to go into the color Shatter right here, which kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, I don't know, it's kind of like a Shimmer Moss, MAC Shimmer Moss, but it's a little greener. And we're going to connect Last Call and Grind using Shattered. So just put that in the middle of your lash line. Now what I like to do to clean up under here is I take, I just clean off the liner brush and I go into whatever foundation I'm using that day. Um, I have Sephora's Mineral Foundation. I think this is the color, um, it says Clear Light, which is 21. Just take some on your liner brush and just kind of go in here. Just kind of clean up those edges a little. Now you don't want to get any glitter, so you might want to keep brushing off your brush before you put it back into your foundation. And just clean up, you know, clean up any edges. And anything in here. You don't want to go over what we just did, but you want to be able to give it just a cleaner look. For eyeliner, I'm going to use a white liner. This is from Wet n Wild, but any white liner will do. The thing about the Wet n Wild liner is you kind of do have to rub it on a few times. And I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to use Lash Blast, the waterproof mascara, and this is brownish black. Take the rest, go under the lower lashes. Again, if you get any, like here, like as you can see, wait a few minutes, wait like a minute or two for it to dry, and then you can just brush it away with, you know, any brush. Um, for a lip, I would go natural just because it's natural eyes, but since you have lighter eyes, you can also use a bolder color for your lips if you want. I'm just, I just have on right now the um, EOS. Um, lip balm. This is in, um, I'm pretty sure it's peach. It's called Summer Fruit, but it smells like peach. 
For nails, I have Midnight Mambo by OPI, and I, I think it's pretty sure that Sephora website, I got it on the Sephora website, and I'm pretty sure it said that it was a limited edition. So this is the look. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you soon. Bye.